What is good everybody? It is your boy Cab back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys. Today we are here with an update that came on Xenoverse 2 today, but we really don't know what this update is about, but I also do have an idea as to what this could be, and I'm assuming we'll also maybe get some data mining maybe from the homie Demon Boy or someone else later on in the week, and we'll actually get some confirmation on it, but I do want to talk about this with you guys today, and I want to give a shout out to the homie Reach Out because he was the first one that I seen talking about this and putting this out there, and it's three that I actually updated my own versions of Xenoverse 2 on the PlayStation and Xbox. Now, on the tweet, he says, an update for Xenoverse 2 dropped today. It seems to be relating to the PS4 version of XV2 Lite. However, Steam and Switch also received an update. Xbox likely did as well. No idea what else is in this update right now. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why he mentioned the Lite version and why that would be included in an update for like regular Xenoverse 2. Wouldn't just the Lite version of Xenoverse 2 be receiving the updates as opposed to the main version? Like the light version and the main version are completely different apps. So why would we get an update on our side if we don't even have the light version, we just have the regular one, you know what I mean? But I also do have an idea as to what this update could actually be. Because if you guys know, with Canton City TV, we always got a new loading screen, a new photo um, for our loading screens and things like that from those events. Now there hadn't been any photo mode, or not photo modes, any photos add it into Xenoverse 2 for the upcoming Canton City TVs if there were going to be any for DLC 14. The reason I'm able to know this is because I did hit up the homie Demon Boy about a month or two ago and asked him if there was anything in the update files when DLC 13 dropped that would show that there's new loading screens that would be in Canton City TV in the future. Because again, with each and every single Canton City TV event, we did get a new loading screen if you did participate and show up to those events. So I'm assuming that's one of the things that was added in with this update. But for a four gigabyte update on Xbox, I believe that was what mine was as well when I did update earlier this morning. I feel like there also might be some more stuff, but I think the main reason for this update is to get ready for Canton City TV to come back again, because I was wondering if it was or not, and honestly, it really wouldn't make sense for them not to showcase all DLC-related news on Canton City TV. So hopefully we do get a Canton City TV announcement within like the next week and a half or two weeks or so, because usually they were at the beginning of the month. Now this month has about a week left in it, and then we will be in April. So we could be seeing a Canton City TV very, very soon in the very first DLC 14 related news in this Canton City TV event at the same time. So that is good news overall for DLC 14 that we may finally be getting some information in regards to this DLC because again, the longer that this DLC takes to get info out to us, the longer it takes for us to actually get our hands on it. So let me know what you guys think about this update, what other things possibly could have been in there, maybe besides some photos being added in for Canton City TV and them prepping it for some DLC 14 related news. Again, let me know your thoughts on all this and what else could be there. But as always, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, hope you have a good one. Hey, show. Okay, one other thing that I did not see or mention at the time that I was actually recording, like when I was recording this, I don't even believe the homie Reach Out had this tweet out. He says that um, Kale and Khalifa, basically their stats from offline have been converted to online as well. As you can see in this tweet right here, the stats shown here are using endless slash player lobbies. They now resemble stronger versions of the stat used for content fights. So basically guys, what was happening with Kale and Khalifa, if you never noticed, Kale and Khalifa had different stats for offline and online. Now their stats will be the exact same in both offline and online actually making them better characters online as well so let me know what you guys think about this and what else you think could have possibly been in this update at the same time but for the second time man thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you have a good one peace y'all